It was Steam Next Fest and some of my wishlists were playable with the demo, so we hopped right in and found ourselves a gem live on stream. We played 4 games in total and you don't want to miss the highlight at the end, so make sure you keep watching. Shark Siege is an action-adventure RPG where you have to gather goods that are floating in the ocean to keep you and your vessel alive. Why that would be a problem? Well, there is a big shark hunting you and your little boaty. If he hits your vessel, you have holes and sink. If he hits you, you're dead. As simple as that. Your only safety is the boat, but to keep the boat safe, you need to leave it. It's pretty fun in general, but it's more likely a multiplayer game because I was pretty hustling while streaming it alone. And this game does no good for people with thalassophobia. My rating is as follows. Hopefully this game is going to find some players after release, so we can check it out again with some more people. In Darkwell you have to slice up different types of enemies fast. If you're slow, you're out. If you're cozy, you're out. You always need to see one step ahead while processing the current step as a pro. If you make a tiny mistake, yeah right, you're out. Darkwell is a fast-paced, one-hit kill style, top-down combat game that uses various methods such as hooks, deflect, dash and kills to end enemies. For players who aren't as slow and incompetent as me, this game is a decent hit in my opinion, so go ahead and check it out. For me and my personal rating, it looks like follows. If I wouldn't have been too stupid to get the swing done, I would have played it a little longer, but we will leave it with that. I like the art style, the dungeons, the theme, pretty decent. I had some difficulties to get into the gameplay, but once you figured it out, it is straightforward. But maybe that's the downside of this game. Maybe I haven't played long enough to see all the variations inside the game, but for now I could imagine that the replayability is suffering under this fact. The dungeons were similar and the art style hasn't had so much variation. I will keep an eye on it, but for now my rating is as follows. This rating is just for the offline mode. The online mode where you can compete against other players with custom dungeons could be also pretty fun. It is a gem. We found one. Tradesman. Deal to dealer. It is the first of the most recent 7 games that I can't wait to play again on Sunday, live and stream, and since it's releasing on June 18th, we are able to actually play it a little more this week. In Tradesman you have to lead your wagon through the dangerous forest and streets, defend your supplies against various enemies and fight you through to the next town or outpost with the help of your mercenaries. My first run wasn't that successful, but we managed to have two or three good fights. If you look at my rating for this, you can see that this is pretty good. Normally I don't enjoy playing this genre that much, but Tradesman was very fun and I'm looking forward to the next session. To be a part of our stream, go ahead and check the link on the YouTube channel or search for The Lab Germany on Twitch. And that's it for now, thanks again for watching and leave a like if you like. If you haven't seen the first video of playing and rating games, somewhere here it is. If you already have, then you're fine. If not, I will fight you. Bye.